Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com and it's house renovation time. I'd like to show you how metal boxes in 1960 were grounded. You see, this is a little ground wire right here. It's going to this metal box and it's going to this copper crimper, which was loose. And I took and I put a new crimp on it with, with this crimping tool right here. And what I may have just done, I may have just caused uh, a box or several boxes down the line to now be grounded because this was loose and I tightened it up. Okay, now see this goes to right here. And this is where this box becomes grounded. And on the other side of this, you'll see an old flat head screw, a screw head that you should never mess with. You shouldn't try to tighten it or loosen it or anything, unless it is loose, you can try to tighten it. But other than that, don't, don't mess with it because that's how this box is grounded, you see. And now, and then from here, it goes to other boxes. I can't tell you exactly where it would go next, but this, I wanted to show you this. This is how a metal 1960 box gets grounded. They, they attach a little ground wire to the back of the metal box. I just happened to have taken out the old medicine cabinet. I was going to replace it with a new one, which I am going to do. I just happened to see this and I, I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you how this works. There's two things you can do to improve your, your 1960 grounding. Uh, you could uh, hold this with a, with the pliers and then tighten this and get it tighter. And you can uh, do what I did and recrimp this copper. So you know, just get good tight connections and that's how you can work on it. But from the other side, you can't really do anything. If you try to tighten this, you might just spin it and cause it to come loose. And maybe you spin it around, maybe you break this wire or something. So you can't really do anything from the other side, but from this side, you could, you could tighten this and you can tighten that. Another interesting thing is that this ground wire right here actually enters the metal box and gets hooked up to the green grounding terminal of the receptacle. I find this situation to be quite rare in a 1960 house, but they probably did it because this receptacle, uh, the receptacle in the front of this box, goes to the laundry facility. So that's probably why they did that. Okay, here's the new medicine cabinet. I'll just take it, put it right in here. It's a pretty good fit. Put a level on it. The next thing to do is to drive four two-inch screws through the medicine cabinet and into the stud. Now I'm gonna caulk and paint around the edges and get it looking sharp. So if you own a house uh, from the 1950s or 1960s, or if you're just working on one, it may be time to change out that old medicine cabinet. So this is a really good project, but if you do remove the old medicine cabinet, check out and see if you can find some old boxes on the other wall. And whatever you do, don't cut those ground wires. I'll put links in my video description for the new DeWalt Atomic Drill and Impact Driver set in my video description. I used the drill to drill holes into the heads of the screws that held in the old medicine cabinet. Then I used an easy out to remove the screws. I'll put a link for my easy out set, which is made by Irwin. I don't use it very often, but it's really a lifesaver sometimes. Also, I'll put a link for a 16 inch by 26 inch beveled mirror medicine cabinet. The frame in size is 13 and a quarter by 23 and a quarter, which is the size that I needed. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.